Jarvis Landry, wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, he has a saying when he catches a pass, he says, bless him, right? And that's, if you go to a Browns game or go downtown Cleveland, you might see a lot of shirts that say that. That's kind of been a battle cry for the Browns, if you will. And it's, it's sort of an interesting saying. I, you know, he says he wants to bless people, but he only says it when he catches a pass, which doesn't really make much sense because that's not a blessing to them. But anyway, uh, when he was asked about what that phrase means, he said this. He said, God has given us abilities to be a blessing to others. And I was talking with a friend of mine a couple weeks ago, and I was telling him what I was sharing here and what I was preaching on. And then we started talking about the Browns, and we realized that's really what it's all about, isn't it? Right? God has changed our lives. He's blessed us, and we should be doing everything that we can to be a blessing to others. And is there a better way at all to bless someone than sharing the good news of Christ with them? John Wesley, I don't know how many people have jumped from Jarvis Landry to John Wesley, but John Wesley, he said, give me 100 men that hate nothing but sin and love Jesus Christ. And together we'll shake England for God. Now, this room in here today has way over 100 men and women. I ask again, what would it look like for all of us in this room? What kind of effect would that have outside of these walls if we were to start viewing people the way that God views people? Start viewing our mission the way that, that God wants us to view it and to start doing everything that we can to share the gospel with people. I think it would be a tremendous blessing to all. Blessing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.